morning, evening and night some ladies and gents and they decided to play some lighthouse defense against my viewers. This car will be their starting point. They can bring anything they want, the only rule they have to be using only red dots so they can't be using zoomed sides and they have to cross this bridge and do their best to get to me and kill me. I, on the opposite side, am allowed to play with whatever I want. So I decided to start with Lapua Bolti and a Voodoo side. So without further ado, let's see how the first round went. I think he is gonna my... kill you all, bastards! Over here, I'm friendly kidding. fire! Come on. Place together! Just left it. So what do we got here? All right, boys, I'm ready. I'll start shooting whenever you reach the the the, the bridge. Bro, I can't aim. It doesn't let me aim. I can't aim. How is he still alive? I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I stood absolutely no chance in the first round, my viewers destroyed me so badly. So for the first round I introduced a couple of additional rules. First of all, they can play only with pistols and secondly they can bring only armor up to level 4. Alright boys, I'm ready. Wow! Still no chance as you can tell. For the next round, I decided to bring FMJ bullets for Lapua so I can one tap everybody in the chest and a helmet with a visor. However, the bosses which spawned right next to us thought that we shouldn't be heading towards the lighthouse and that we should fight them instead. You see him? Oh god! He's on the hill! They up the hill, up the hill. No, no. Oh. I did manage to kill the knight, and then me and my viewer found the last boss, the bird eye. I have not met the new bosses online yet, but I fought them in offline and they seem to be very tough. If you've met them online and you did fight them and maybe even managed to win, please don't hesitate to share your tips in the comments below. I would gladly read them and uh, maybe even include them in my next video, whenever I will finally meet them online. It actually kind of blinds me. One down.
get back here, Axel. Ah, uh, no. Looks like things are slowly getting better for me, but we're still not there yet. Viewers suggested me to play with a um, M1A or something like an SR based rifle, and I just agreed with them. At this moment, I thought that this round should be mine. The faster fire rate of SR compared to the bolt action really gave me a lot of faith. Bro, they need to count my bullets, like, they need to know when I'm reloading. Two of them. Oh, bro, what is this? All right, I think I, I think this is GG chat. <laughs> and I finally managed to win a round after all this time. So I went out, checked a couple of buddies, made sure there is nobody else left alive and just disconnected from the raid and we decided to do something else with the chat. Our new activities included such games as 6 vs 6 using revolvers only. Oh, first down! I got a kill! On the edge, right side. Yes! Easy guys! I think that's a win. The 6 vs 6 fight in the stronghold area using only new MP18 break action. My man, follow me. Hey, hey, hey. You good? Come yeah. out, you coward! Hey, <laughs> you hear that? Hear that hey, voice? Oh, that was a good headshot. And for the last game, I decided to become an in-game chatter on laps. The rules were very simple. Everybody comes in with a break action MP18, I come in with good gear, and uh, it's a 5 versus 5 fight, and whenever somebody can get the dog tech of the opposite team, they can go upstairs to the manager's room, which is a safe spot. Nobody can shoot inside managers, and if you're inside managers, nobody can shoot you. And they can give me dog techs, and they'll give you them a better weapon in return, and they turn out to be really fun. So I think I'll be doing those community days on Sundays, probably not every week. And yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you found those games really fun. Oh, he hit him, but he didn't kill him. Double barrel down. Double barrel guy down. Oh, what a headshot, bro. And this video is coming to an end. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next one.